Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Rose and today I am partnering with Dub to share my hair damage story. So my hair story began at a very young age. Before I ever learned how to do makeup properly, hair care was the very first thing I ever learned. My relationship with my hair has always kind of been up and down from an early age. There were several times in my life where I would get really frustrated with my hair and I've always had really long hair. When I was seven years old, I had a beautiful long bang and one day, I don't know what drove me to do this, maybe my frustration with managing my hair, but I took a pair of scissors in my room, closed the door and I just snipped my bangs right off, right to the very top. I had to wear a bandana over my hair for the next like seven months going to school. You know, kids do that. They take scissors and they cut their hair off. And I am one of those kids. When I was younger and I would go to hair salons to get haircuts, the stylist would always tell me that my hair was really thick and really luxurious and luscious. And I didn't know how I felt about that because I kind of just wished my hair was a little bit more manageable. A lot of the times when I received those compliments, I didn't really quite believe it. And I think that's something that's so common when you are younger. And then a little bit later in life, when I was a teenager, I would bleach my hair on my own at home. I found a YouTube tutorial in like 2012 and it taught me how to bleach my hair, how to ombre my hair, and for the next, I think, like four years, like at least three times a year, I would buy box dye, box bleach. Bleaching your hair does a lot of damage to your hair if you're not taking care of it properly after, and I definitely wasn't. I didn't know what the right products were. I didn't know how to properly care for my hair right after coloring it. So it's a lot of ups and downs that I went through definitely in my younger years. And I tried all types of hair products, oils, serums, creams, literally everything on the market. I tried it all to help salvage my damaged hair. I think the biggest challenge that I have endured with my hair is learning how to care for it in the best way that my hair needs it and not what everyone else is doing. And it took me a while to realize that my hair isn't like everyone else's hair. So piggybacking off that, my breakthrough was finding products and treatments that are good for my hair and that actually work with my hair and help problems like dry hair, breakage, and split ends. Since I've colored my hair so many times over the past like 10, 15 years, my biggest goal is to restore its natural health. And I've probably tried over a hundred different products to help my hair. I have a couple of hair hacks that I picked up over the years that have really helped with my hair care routine. The first one is drying my wet hair with a t-shirt instead of a towel. It helps prevent frizziness. Another hack that I actually recently started doing was detangling my hair and combing it while I'm still in the shower with my hair mask on. And I have a detangler brush. And while I'm in the shower, I go ahead and I just brush my hair out rather than waiting for my hair to dry and brushing it after I'm outside of the shower. And I've noticed when my hair is still wet with the product in it, it's just so much easier to comb it out. So both of those hacks, the t-shirt and the detangler brush in the shower have really helped with my hair. Some things I avoid with my hair is putting too much heat on it. Back in the day when I was in high school and a teenager, I would straighten my hair every single day. Nowadays, I try to only use heat two or three times a week or when I like have an event when I absolutely need to style my hair. And another thing I try to avoid is too much sun exposure on my hair. If I'm in the sun for a long period of time, I always remember to bring a hat with me so that my hair is protected from the sun. Other ways I care for my hair are with the right products. So on top of a hydrating conditioner and shampoo in the shower, I also use a repair mask and a fiber bond. And then after the shower for my leave-in products, I always use some type of leave-in conditioner, hair oil, and serum. So it's a big routine with a lot of different products, but it's all very necessary to help repair my hair. Dove's Intensive Repair products have also really been a big part of my hair routine. I've started using the shampoo and conditioner and I've seen such an amazing difference. My hair feels so much more moisturized and hydrated and silky and smooth right after the shower. My hair is really important to me because your natural hair is who you are, it's where you come from, and I'm always proud to tell people 
you know, I get my thick hair from my dad. And it's also in a huge way a form of expression. It is fashion because you can do so much with your hair and it just makes you who you are and it's your statement to the world. My hair journey has affected me in a positive way because it's helped me to love my hair and to love myself. It's much more bigger than hair. It is all about confidence and loving who you are and what you bring to the world. So I hope you guys enjoyed hearing all about my hair damage story. If you want more content like this, definitely subscribe to Dove's YouTube channel. And I also want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments what your hair damage story is. Thank you guys so much for watching.